Susan, what are you doing? I'm preparing my talk for this Sunday. But this Sunday is fast Sunday. Right, I have four pages of dictionary definitions and C.S. Lewis quotes so I can be prepared when I go up to the pulpit. Everyone, we need to leave now. Why forever four? It's the neighbors. They're watching unedited rated R World War II films. The whole complex could be condemned. Oh, I hear the explosions <laughs> getting louder or closer or louder. Everybody, well, let's go. Cool, I swear. Come back here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, do you guys have any more popcorn? Run! 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 Lay off me! I'm starving. My goodness, there's a lot of stairs. <laughs> Edmund, what were you thinking? You'd have gotten us killed spiritually. Shut up, Peter. Peter, Edmund, stop fighting. You're making Lucy cry. There, there, now, cheerio, pip, pip, and all that. Listen, everyone. We need to find a new place to live. Let's split up and meet back here in three hours. Break. Break. Maybe I can live here. Excuse me, but, but what are you? I'm Brother Tamnus. Who are you? Oh, I'm Lucy. I just moved out of the Glenwood. Glenwood? Oh, uh, yes, more or less. Say, Lucy, why don't you come to my house and have tea with me? Oh, well, I seem to remember my mother saying something about accepting invitations from oddly hairy men. Oh. <laughs> but I can't remember if she was for or against it. <laughs> oh, do say yes. Okay. All right, let's go. Well, here we are. Welcome to the condos of Narnia. What a cool apartment. Is, is this a closet? Yes, it's where I keep my clothing or wardrobe. <laughs> wow, I've never seen student housing with a closet that you can actually fit things into. Yes. Are there any openings in this complex? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Stupid Peter, always not letting me get my John by the way person when the apartment's being condemned spiritually and I have to run away. I hate him! Well, tell them to buy more sweaters then. I'm not paying that heat. Tip top of the morning to you, <laughs> ma'am. How dare you speak to me like that? What's your name, love? Oh, names aren't important. Oh, uh, I rather fancy that. No commitment. Just. Me as a local real estate mogul, I own a complex called the Condos of Narnia. Ooh, I'd rather fancy that too. If you don't mind me saying so, you're a real piece of Turkish delight. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how dare you! How dare you! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That is fabulous! I'm going to forbid you to take me on an expensive date because that was such a very good kiss there, yes. Ah. Boy, Harry, that would be a kick in the knickers. <laughs> Just remember, you can't tell anyone about us. Why do all my girlfriends say that? <laughs> well, that was unpleasant. It's terribly hard to find a new apartment on a Monday night. Plus, we missed 24. <laughs> and apartments are so expensive. Yes, and I've not but a tuppence and three shillings. Uh. What? Edmund, stop slouching. You're giving this family a bad name. No wonder you never go on any dates. Shut up, Peter. I hate you. And you're wrong. What if I told you I had a top secret date with a real estate mogul? I'd punch you in the face. Uh, Peter, Edmund, stop fighting. You're making Lucy cry. This is not even here. Oh. That is a problem. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The strangest thing happened on my way over here. I was suddenly overcome with tears. See? <laughs> Where forever have you been all this time? Oh, I found us a new place to live. It's called the Condos of Narnia. The manager's name is Mr. Gasp. Narnia. <laughs> Edmund, stop gasping. 
It's a sign of weakness. Indeed. Just as I was saying, the manager's name is Mr. Tumnus. He's ever so polite and hairy. And they have closets you can actually walk into. Oh, Lucy, stop making things up. Is this like the time you told us you had a tea party on the ceiling with our nanny? Or like the time you claimed to be some sort of female version of Harry Potter? That was stupid. <laughs> Look, now you've got me crying again. No, this is real. Look, I have contracts for us and everything. Well, everything seems to be in order. I'm terribly sorry for doubting you, Lucy. Edmund, why can't you be more like our younger, more feminine sister? Let's go. Let's go. See, just as I told you, closets that you can walk into. We're ever so sorry we doubted you, Lucy. Again. Brr! It's chilly in here. Where's the thermostat? Edmund, stop complaining about the temperature. That's why we were clothing. I'm never wearing clothing again. Fine. <laughs> Let's go find Mr. Tumnus. He'll know what to do. Okay. He's ever so nice and hairy. I'm concerned with the fixation on his hair. Yes. Here it is. <gasps> Look at the state of it! It's in complete disarray! It wasn't like this before! There was tea and crumpets and nicely folded napkins! Tea? Perhaps this isn't the right place after all. Still, we should avoid the appearance of evil. Edmund, stop explaining our sister... Uh, <coughs> stop teaching our sister correct principles! Killed that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm Mr. Raver, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm one of the tenants here. I just came looking for my sash. I want a beauty contest in Southern Utah. <laughs> we need to find a thermo. Stat! because there was an all the actual big booties in the room. Get the things over and whatnot. This would be the next break and all, but how do we turn the heaters back on? Oh, that ain't gonna happen, kiddo. You see, that witch of a landlord, she uh, had control of all the thermostats, and uh, she never turns them on. It's always winter in Narnia. <laughs> sure she has her reasons. Yeah. And then stop defending people you don't know. Strangers not to be feared. Listen. If you guys really want to do something about it, come to a secret tenant meeting that I'm having tonight. It's only for secret tenants. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> no, just wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> I think we have a problem. What? So your new boyfriend has moved into number six of this complex. I don't see why that's a problem. That just means he'll have to give me gifts at greater frequency. Yes, but he moved in with his siblings, male and female. Oh, oh. Well, intergender living, that's just creepy. <laughs> creepy indeed, but we can't kick them out unless they violate the honor code. Some brownie points. 
Mr. Beaver. Oh my goodness, it's Malcolm! He's a student that brings all the student protocol violations. I know you're in there. He knows we're in here. I know you're all in there. He knows we're all in here. Rip <laughs> repeating everything I say. Oh, I just want me to <laughs> Mr. Beaver, we've secretly replaced your cans of Stevens cocoa with Folgers coffee crystals. We'll see if the honor code can tell the difference. It's the best part of my Not just hand over the shoulder. <laughs> just hand over the shoulder and I'll be just a bad caffeinated dream. Those children, be still. That's our word. What are you doing, Mr. Tumnus? That's our next Oh, Mr. Tumnus. I short-circuited his electric razor. He was tackled the moment he entered the testing center. <laughs> You know how hairy he gets, Lucy. Uh, listen, look, there's a secret tenant's back door. Come on, let's go out there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, let me get this straight. You didn't write me a love song. You didn't buy me expensive flowers. I got the place. You don't have any ring. No, he's getting me. Oh, what? Your problem. Uh, I'm sorry, I just thought we could go for a walk and talk about our feelings. You see, I've always wanted to play chess for the butterfly. <laughs> Shut up! I can see you are as poor as you are, stupid intern! Imprison him in a fort of couch cushions! No! My own! No! <laughs> oh, I think we lost him, kid. Come on! Cosmo's dad has to be around here somewhere. But Edmund, we lost Edmund! Never mind, Edmund. Cosmo is the only one that can save that one now. England before you can say Daisy Duke. Wow. <laughs> My Majesty, your appointment has arrived. Show them in. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Nathan, what have they done to you? <laughs> Turn, you can't stop him. I've trapped him in chains. <laughs> I don't know why you want to stop Edmund. But Edmund, stop being tied up and get over here now. Uh, mm. You can't. We're engaged. <laughs> We're, we're not officially engaged, but we have talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, okay. You want to talk to me? What else is that mean? <laughs> In private? Very well. <laughs> so do you get class credit for this or something? Well, um, see, 
actually, it's a study abroad program. I go to BYU Idaho. <laughs> I love being exposed to so many exotic cultures here in Idaho. And that's really awkward. <laughs> Walked up those stairs. But it's so great that we're still living together despite the fact we're all mid 40s now. Yes, and living as a family really cuts into your dating life. I haven't had a girlfriend since. since. Uh. Oh, Eddie, stop complaining. Lucy found a man shortly after we got here. Why can't you? <laughs> Everyone, come quickly. Why, for other four? Is there a problem? Well, I've had to go for the past 40 years. <laughs> since that one time with her. Uh, Edmund, stop reminiscing about the witch, and that's final. Your mom's final! Oh. <laughs> there, there, now, you've got the source of our mother, pit pit. <laughs> look, look at that sign over there. Glen Ood? That sounds familiar. Yes, we used to live there ever so long ago. But it all looks so different. 
Yes, the roof. It's covered with fanciful logs. <laughs> it looks like a lodge. The lodge is a great food. With a fancy roof like that, it can't be ghetto anymore. Yes. <laughs>